our much beloved president by the left wing media of course they love him because he helps the ratings president donald trump is uh ratings are out now by the rasmussen organization the polling firm who tracks approval ratings of presidents and uh, president trump while the, the media attacks intensify, his numbers go up. And I know it's got to be frustrating for Rachel Maydow and company. <laughs> Walker Wildman with me, Ed Battagliano, Tim Wildman. This, and I, I know this is just a snapshot in time, Walker. This sure. is just today, okay? So it may change tomorrow, the next day. But the, what, what's the latest from the Rasmussen? Yeah, the Rasmussen polling firm, a very uh, a credible polling firm. Right. Uh, they they release a daily tracking poll about where the president stands among likely U.S. voters. And today, President Trump is at the highest point he's been at in his presidency. He's at 53 percent approval rating amongst likely U.S. voters. Uh, what do you think when Rachel Maydow and, uh, and, and Don Lemon and those, they hear this news, do they just go into denial and start shaking their heads? Sure. Or? Well, it has to be frustrating because the left, right. the political right. left and the media have spent the last three years absolutely trying to tear down the presidency right. of Donald Trump. And three years later, it just seems to not be working. So it's got to be frustrating. How do you explain this? He's at 50. He should be down around 33. <laughs> like huh? Well, I wish I could explain this. I, I, the, this is huge. President, it okay. is. It's huge. Okay. President Trump defies <clears throat> political expectations. True. He's done that from the beginning. He right. did that as a candidate. And now he's doing it, uh, as you pointed out, in the midst of the, the most intense yeah. pummeling right. I have ever seen a president go through. Right. I mean, it is nonstop because of the way social media is and because of 24-7 news and channels, mm. channels, channels. Uh, it's it's absolutely continuous. I'm not sure that that might not be playing a part into s the persistent support for this president. Now it has gone up and down, like you right. said. This is a snapshot, right. but 53 percent. I I would never have predicted this no. just because of the beating he's taking. I think President Obama at this same time in his presidency had like 43 percent. Yeah, he's 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 beating Obama's <laughs> ratings. At right. a similar point, and his... Obama was loved by yes. most of the media. And uh, anyway, all right. Well, it's very interesting to see President Trump continues to defy, um, you know, defy uh, the, the odds makers if there were odds makers in, in politics. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Reason and Company. Mm -hmm.